woke up to a rain shower this morning. Um, it's starting to move out. There's a little bit of uh, daylight trying to keep, creep out through the clouds to the east. I'm expecting that today, so I have no idea how it's going to affect the birds. I'm going to get a shot anyway. And hop from ridge to ridge again. Try to stay close to some open areas, hoping the birds might want to go to that since, just, since it just rained. But we'll give it a shot anyway and enjoy the time in the woods. But other than that, one of the last chances next weekend for Missouri turkey season. Hopefully we get it done this weekend. But we'll see. We'll enjoy it. It'll be a little wet in the woods today. If we get on one, we're about to be wet, but that'll be alright. Same spot. Mm -hmm. Did you hear him? No. Back up over there. Did you hear it? Awesome. So long. <laughs> <laughs> he hung up right here. I know. He hung up and I, I just I had shots at him, but I didn't think I could get it through the brush. Right. He said that at an old tree for like 10 minutes. Oh, I know. Did he put on a show? For, he was putting on a show down there. I know. I could see him fanning out. You hear him out. drumming? Huh? You hear him drumming? I heard him drumming. Oh, man. Yeah. But that's what I thought. I was, <gasps> I was like, why aren't you shooting at you? I mean, I, I, I had the angle on him. But I had so much brush in there, I didn't think I could get through there. And I thought, I'm just going to be patient. Quit calling. I, call him. Him. I thought he was going to maybe come up here. Oh, yeah. As soon as he poked his head past me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, man. man. Oh. I just wish, I wish you could have got a bow shot on him. I drew on the other bird as soon as you pulled the trigger. I was, I was like, if There's the other bird back there? No, no, this one here. This oh, okay. Here. Okay. Yeah, he's still up there. <laughs> well, I knew there was two in there. I thought I saw saw two. Yeah. But this one, did he trot off? No, he flew off. He just down, he went down that bottom over there. Do we want to try to sit up on him? You take a shot down? No, no, I'm taking off. I'll try with the bow. Huh? I'm stubborn on the bow. Okay. <laughs> Our morning's not done. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, it's freaking awesome. We had the decoy set up the wrong spot know. back there. I think if we, if we would have set him up right here, he would have come right in. Dude. Yeah. Our day turned out pretty dang good. Good Lord was blessed us today. Yeah. Yeah. He sure did. Sure did. So. And especially with my best hunting yep. partner ever. Yep. You know. So we're going to go hang this bird up and get him breasted out and he'll make a good meal. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's going to be 
Pretty good eating. Yep. Pretty good eating. Heck of a hunt, man. Yeah. Nice job. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Again. buddy. Yep. Love you, son. Love you too, bud. So what happened? Bird number two this year. I was supposed to go to the US Open this morning and film somebody's way in, but they ended up not doing as well as they thought they were going to. Decided to come down here to Joe's. It's the only day this week I've gotten to hunt. Actually, it's the only second time I've got to hunt in the Missouri season. <clears throat> I was getting bored. You know, normally we see them before, a little bit before seven. And then around 7.30, two hens just came in. I was like, cool, I got something to film. Then all of a sudden, there's two big toms right behind them. So then I start getting a little nervous. I'm like, oh crap, get the camera ready. They hung around just perfect. They didn't care about my decoy. They just, eh, we already have these two ladies. They literally, it felt like hours, took their time to come into frame and walk over to where I could shoot them. I wasn't wasting no time. Uh, first day of the season, I hunted one for like four hours and he, he hung up not 50 yards behind me and I was like it's gonna happen I'm not wasting any more time I waited for him to turn the heads I drew and just let it go watched him walk maybe 20 yards in the woods simple super easy it's a great experience especially now that Joe sold his place and it's maybe the last time I ever get to hunt here so it's a, it's a great way to end uh, 20 acres in a dream for myself and the adventures that I've had on it with Joe so it's been a good year so far. 